While you're knocked out, don't point your head towards any wall, as your player model gets exposed onto the other side of the wall and you may be attacked from there. The Armored UAZ. Is it fully bulletproof? No. The grills provided on the vehicle can save you from certain bullets, but some can still penetrate and kill you. If you're ever stuck under an airdrop and don't find any way to get out, ask your teammate to bring a vehicle near you. Now press the Get In button to free yourself from the airdrop. Puncturing the front tire of a buggy makes it more stable by reducing its drift. You can still achieve speeds over 100 km per hour. You can cancel out a smoke grenade in this manner. Take a new smoke grenade in your hand, change it to low toss, and now start cooking the grenade. Now press the cancel button, and boom, it's gone. Although this is a bug, it works fine. If you spot an enemy in any of these shacks, park a vehicle in front of its door and burst it. Your enemy would be trapped in it forever. Ever wondered which is better out of these two? Even a 99% damage level 3 helmet can save you from getting knocked out from a Car 98 or an M24 if your health bar is full, whereas a fresh level 2 helmet won't be able to save you. If you're in an intense battle and you start reloading a weapon such as the M249, which still has ample bullets to kill an enemy, you can cancel the reload by quickly clicking on the weapon twice. Now you can take the fight easily. Ever wondered what these medals mean? Here's the meaning of most of the common medals that you receive after every match. You can pause the video and have a look at it. Now let's take a look at some building tricks. If an enemy tries to push into your building, you can go around and hide behind the door of this building and kill them easily. If you ever spot an enemy in the balcony of these houses, climb the building and jump out of the window in this manner. Now you can surprise your enemy and take an easy kill. Some cool tricks of killing enemies in this building are, number one, you can stand on this boundary to peek and fire. Number two, you can jump over here from the balcony to kill enemies in the small room. And number three, you can stand on the boundary of the balcony and fire at enemies waiting on the roof of the building. You can hide yourself by jumping from the window like this here to peek and fire. One more good way is to jump onto this part of the building and wait for your enemies to climb up the stairs. There are two ways of effectively hiding in this building. You can jump from the top floor onto this roof and crouch down to stay hidden. As soon as the enemy approaches the terrace, climb back and kill them. The second method is to get onto the roof of this building and wait for your enemies to come from below. Ever wondered what the gyroscope is for? It helps you aim by tilting your device. You can reduce the recoils of every weapon to a large extent. All you need to do is to enable the gyroscope. 
Now change the sensitivity settings and increase it as per your comfort. Avoid using the Molotov cocktails in the final circle because it discloses your location. Also, keep an eye on your enemy's molly to know their location. If you ever get knocked out away from your teammates while having a flare gun, drop the flare gun's ammo somewhere so that your enemies can't find it. After firing a bolt-action sniper rifle, you can press and hold the fire button to know where your shot landed. One of the easiest ways to get the sharpshooter badge is to jump at the end of the map. You'll see many offline players over there. Now take a headshot and kill three of them from a distance of 50 meters. Here's a fun tip. Park your vehicle just in front of the door of any building. When you open the door from inside, you'll end up knocking out anyone who's standing beside the vehicle. This works for your teammates as well as your enemies. Here's a bonus tip. Subscribe to Clash Universe for more such videos. Let's keep a like aim of 10,000. Hope you guys do it.